everyone, this is Raimi from Browns Volkswagen. Today we're taking a look at the 2021 Tiguan SEL. Taking a look underneath the hood, you're going to see all of your fluids here. They're clearly marked, very easy to access. You have very easy access to your headlights as well. There's sound shielding above, that's going to keep the cabin nice and quiet. And you're going to get the 2 liter 4 cylinder engine with 8 speed automatic transmission. This vehicle has 4 motion, it's all wheel drive. This particular Tiguan is a beautiful white on beige. The Tiguan in general is a gorgeous car. You're going to see here in the front, there's nice halogen headlights. They're fully automatic. You have LED daytime running lights, front fog lights, and the nice grill with the VW logo. Coming around the side, you're going to see the 19 inch alloy wheels. The wheels in this car look really good, and you can see all the plating down below this material, which will protect the car from anything bouncing up off the road. You, this one comes with the silver roof rails and chrome trim, those accents, and then body color mirror caps with the turn signal indicators here. These mirrors do fold in and out. Coming around to the back, you'll see the spoiler there on the back, those broad tail lights, and then the backup camera located above the license plate. So taking a look inside the back, you're going to see a ton of cargo space. The Tiguan does have the option of a third row. This particular model has only the second row, but more cargo space, spare tire beneath here with all the tools you need. If you want to put down that second row and create more space, you certainly can. The second row does fold down in a 60-40 split and that greatly increases your cargo space. This is what it looks like once it's been all folded down. In the front passenger's side, you're going to have a lot of leg room, a nice glove compartment which is really large great paneling that runs around the front up to your vents here there's the middle console space for cup holders in your doors and in the middle here and all of your controls for your locks and your windows so climbing inside the second row uh, there's plenty of leg room back here it's very spacious there's beautiful beige leatherette seating the seats are comfortable. There's space on your door for your cup holder and your locks and your window. Middle closet there. I'm seated behind the steering wheel now. You get this really nice, uh, cool stitching that comes with this one. Um, it's a leather wrap steering wheel. Um, down below, you'll notice how far I had to scoot this powered seat up just to reach the gas pedal. So there's tons of leg room up here. The seat itself is power, a 10 weight powered seat. Very convenient. On the armrest, you're gonna see all of your controls for your windows and your side mirrors here. Your headlight control panel here. And looking up at the fully digital cockpit, you get to kind of click through and change what you see on the screen a couple different ways. And I'll go over that in just a moment. Um, the rest of the control panel though, on your steering wheel include all of your cruise control settings here, volume control, and then once you've connected your phone, uh, Via Bluetooth or Android Auto, you can get voice activated controls here. Um, and then this is a view button and that just changes like the way the screen is set up. And then to change what you see on the screen, just go ahead and click through this menu here. So for instance, let's go to driving data, hit OK, and then you can click up and down to change what you would like to have displayed. The other way you can change what you have displayed on here is to go to your menu. I'm going to go to car settings. 
instrument cluster and you can also pick from here what you would like to have option wise displayed on your menu there. This is also a good place to find um, your uh, lights, all of the opening, closing, parking, maneuvering settings and features here, and this is all under the car. You'll also know when you need to go in for service. And the second settings button will take you to the general setup, like the time, date, all of that information. So that's all found under this menu option as well. So your apps, like I said, you can utilize Android Auto or Apple CarPlay from here. You do have built-in navigation, which is fantastic. You can use the navigation button here. And then your phone will appear here once it's been connected. So to put the car into reverse, you'll see the backup camera click on. You can back up safely. These are moving navigation lines. Also, if you hit the aerial of parking, you can see your vehicle pop up on this side, and this will show you the route you're going and whether you're approaching anything that you might hit up there. Below your touchscreen, you'll see all of your climate controlled zones. You do have a heated steering wheel as well, and the buttons to activate the front heated seats and the steering wheel are here. You can click on low, medium, high. You have dual climate control zones, so the driver gets their side, the passenger gets their side. Below that, you're gonna see your USB ports and a place to charge your phone wirelessly if your phone's compatible. Electronic parking brake, and then the four motion options. So this is the all wheel drive control. You can just hit it, it'll click on, and you can choose what uh, drive mode you would want to be in. You can go over to snow mode, you can go to off-road, and then there's also like an off-road customized one option. So that is the 2021 Tiguan SEL. If you like what you see or if you have any questions, please give me a call. Again, my name is Remy. I'm at Brown's Volkswagen on Midlothian Turnpike, and I can be reached at 804-551-5537. Thanks so much.